How's it going guys? Welcome back to Quintessin in the Gun Guy. We are sitting at the desk which means that we are probably reviewing something... Yes we are. <laughs> we are reviewing today the Wuben Gecko. This is a... I wouldn't say tactical pen because tactical means something that I can kill someone with. But this is a cool little pen. This is like Inspector Gadget in your pockets. Now some of the younger guys today uh, Gen Z, I think, will probably not know who Inspector Gadget is, but millennials like me, we definitely know Inspector Gadget. And this is definitely it. This was sent to me by Henry B. Run from Torch SA. Very, very nice little, little, uh, I can't really say flashlight, I can't really say pen, because it freaking does everything. It has a pen that's on this side, and then you can flip it around, and you can decide what you want to have with this on this side, but we'll do the close-ups now. Let's get to the close-ups so you guys can see what I'm talking about. So this is the pen that I voted with, as you can see if you follow me on social media, because you had to take your own pen this year for, for voting. So as I said, it has a pen on this side, which is a very cool system, a very small pen, but I haven't run out of, t uh, out of ink yet. I don't write a hell of a lot. Um, but I think this is like one of those emergency type of pens, not a daily user kind of pen. Um, as I said, I've uh, I've basically been been using this as emergency pen, um, nothing too serious. On this side, the, here I've got a glass break on, so it comes out with a glass breaking bead there. And I did test it; it works actually very well, and it's very comfortable in hand as well. Uh, flashlight as we said now here's a magnet on this side let me just get my knife magnets on this side so it's going to hold on to whatever surface that you want to put it on um, very nice and thoughtful little thing now it has a here where the W is that's actually where it shows you that it's charging so blue it's finished charging red that it's still busy charging so if you press here it's going to switch it on so if you press it and hold it it's going to go through the most. Now this is like the moonlight mode. I've got no idea how much lumens this is. I just couldn't find the quantity. Press and hold it in, it's gonna cycle through. And then max amount of lumens is going to be 130 lumens. Pushing it twice is going to put it into full on disco mode, which goes red and blue. No idea what that is for. Cool thing is that it actually has a memory function as well. So now we're back in normal flashlight mode. If I open this up, it can go 90 degrees. Cool thing is that if you are busy writing in the dark, it has your own little light, which gives you illumination. Straight through, no idea why you would do that. And then around as well. So it has a 270 degree movement. Here you can see there is actually, sorry, let me just switch this off. There you can see that there's a charger there for your micro USB type of charger. LEDs on the inside, very, very nice. And it does have a solid body as well. Aircraft grade aluminum, and it is hot anodized. Um, as you can see, it hasn't shown a lot of wear, just quite a bit of wear on the tip here, where I tried to break, or oh, did break quite a bit of glass. Now let's do some more drop testing. Now I'm back again to my face and don't sound so disappointed. I don't think it's too ugly. Well, it's not as good looking as the pen is, but I need to explain to you guys a bit further. Anyway, um, this is the packaging that it comes in. Uh, as you know, Wubin has very, very nice packaging as well. Wubin brand, I've actually been thinking about this for a while now. And I think that Trustfire is one of those brands that does the basics really good. I think they're basically the main competitor for Olight, in my opinion now. I'd say that they are the main competitor for Olight because they do most of the same stuff that Olight does. They do a bit of everything and they do the basics well. So, basics are covered there. Where Wubin is a lot like Imolent. Imolent, on the other hand, does things their own way. They do innovation and they do 
crazy stuff with their styling. So they're basically on the on the forefront, I would say, of bringing value to the market. Where women, on the other hand, is in between those two. It's in between the trust file, they do the basics very well, but they are still innovating quite a bit and trying to bring in other kinds of stuff, which I really do appreciate. So packaging is one thing that I really do like in a company if they do a bit of effort with the packaging. Now this should be there. It should look like that. How cool is that? Very, very neat. As you open it, the pen is going to be on this side. Very neat little packaging. This pops it out. And there you can see everything is in its own compartments. Now, firstly, you do get a manual with this. Nice and thin manual. After that, uh, let me just pull this out. Very nice, small little box. If you open the box here, it has a little cable in the front. If you open it, it has a micro USB charging cable on the inside. Very, very nice, very neat. Now, the part that I think is quite interesting as well, which is the smallest box in the little set. If you open up this, it's going to have a couple of things inside. It has refills for the, for the pen. Now, torches they sell the refills as well, which is absolutely brilliant. So if you open this, you get another four refills. Now the refills are freaking tiny. I don't know if you can see that. That's a refill. So there's not a lot of writing space in that. So as I said, it's more like an emergency type of pen. It has a replacement O-ring, which is too tiny to see. And then you get different heads. Now let's take these out so I can properly show you guys. So this one, as I said, you get the glass breaker here. So if you take that and you screw it off, the glass breaker comes off and you have a, I think they call it a inkless pen. I'm not sure what you use it for. Maybe more like self-defense type of stuff, stabbing people, scratching stuff. Maybe scratching stuff in is maybe the more civilized thing to do. Yeah, civilized. If you don't want that, if you maybe use your tablet or a touch screen more, you've got this little stylus adapter as well, which is going to be like a digital type of pen. So very nice that you can change the heads. I prefer having the glass breaker in because you never know when you need to break some glass, which is cool. And even using the glass break, you're not going to cause as much damage using this as a defensive tool as you would with the, because that thing is super sharp. I don't know if you can see it on camera. That's freaking insane. You're gonna cause a lot more damage with this than you can with this, but even this is like a sharp-ish blunt object, cause a lot of damage and trying to get the attacker away. Now, let's get to the part that, about things that I like and then things that I don't like. What I like about this is that it's innovative and I think this is absolutely brilliant. This like is having Inspector Gadget in your pocket. Couple of uses for it. Um, it's got a pen, it's got a glass breaker. Um, it's a conversation starter as well if you need to borrow some of your pen, which is absolutely <laughs> cool. Anyway, uh, magnet on if you want to stick it against something. Magnet is very nice as well. If you need to use the flashlights in the dark, you stick it up and then you can use this little flashlight here. And then also you can use a flashlight, which is freaking cool. Rechargeable with a lithium ion battery. Just a cool little pen. Um, things that I don't like about this is that it's just a little bit too bulky for me. Um, yes, it has a lot of features, so please don't comment down in the comment section that I'm being stupid saying that it's bulky. I carry the Strauss & Co leather belt organizer. If you know, well, if you follow the channel, then you know that I carry that. This doesn't fit into it. This basically is just a bit, it's the same thickness, but it's just a bit wider than a normal pen is. That makes me not able to carry it. But this fits in very nicely into the back pocket of jeans. I basically forget about it. Because I put it in like this, in line with my bum, um, yeah, oversharing. 
and it's I just turn it not this way I turn it around so it bites onto the corner of my pocket it actually sits flush against my body and it doesn't cause me any discomfort which is freaking cool so I basically forget that I that I have it very very nice um yeah that's it guys bit expensive I think it goes for 2200 rand um but check the price down in the comment section um but if you think about what uh, what you get with it, it's very good value for money uh, for what I think. Haven't broken it yet. It is one me to drop test it. I've dropped it a couple of times, try smashing it, and it just keeps on going. So thanks so much for Henry Beanman sending this out to me to test and abuse. Yeah, I like abusing stuff. <laughs> anyway, guys, have a good one. I'll see you later again for, let's say, another review. Yeah, let's keep it going. Cheers.